even your body size. So obviously if you're bigger than me, you have to create more space. So from that position, I can run at 45, and I can put my foot on the hip. If I turn on to my side and break my knee, and I still can't bring my leg through, I can move the length of my leg. I can use that to push my body back. Does that make sense? So I don't just have to stay at that same level. Does that make sense? I can use that to create space. And obviously, in, in realistic mass, I'm going to leave his arms or anything going to back. So we want to learn from this drill that I want to be on my side with an inverted knee. Which makes it easy for me to bring the leg through. But also, I can use this leg as a buffer. I can push the whole length of my leg to move my hips back to get the leg. And if you still can't do it, you're a retard, you shouldn't be in here. Yeah. Um, stay there, bro. So second drill is, guys, um, partner's behind me. I'm just gonna grab his hands and I'm gonna put two feet into his armpits. The idea here is I want to get used to being on my shoulders. The rest are leaning into me a little bit so we can take my weight. Perfect. So what we're thinking about here is I just keep grips. From here, I'm going to replace my right foot with my left. Okay? So I just take my left foot and I put my left hand here. And now I'm spinning around to turn the corner. And as I do that, the back of my knee goes into his armpit and the back of my other knee comes over the shoulder. I let go of that and now I'm going to try it again. Again, this is just another drill um, where we can spot the one in, one out tonight. So partner is on their knees behind. We're just grabbing hands here. I'm just going to get up and put two feet into his armpits here. Notice the way. I'm on my shoulders and my lower back is off the mat. From that position, I keep the grips, my foot or heel goes into that armpit and then I turn the corner. Now done badly, if I don't lift my hips and don't put the back of my knee in the armpit and the back of my knee in the shoulder, as I go to turn Rand's posturing and then I end up here, and that sucks. So we want to get the back of the knee in the armpit and the back of the knee on his trapezium here. Yeah? So again. From our position, two feet up. Okay. I'm not. I'm putting my heel here to start with. That's going to help me turn, and then the leg comes over. Now I'm holding on to this arm because if I wasn't, it'd be stopping that leg. So I keep a grip of it until I get to here. Then I let go and I pull that across. I would recommend doing it on one side, but doing it on both sides. Side. I'm replacing when I come this side. 